गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स टू टेट गैरिया टीम फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दिस वंडरफुल इवेंट एंड टू सेलेक्ट अ थीम सो अप्रोप्रिएट दैट इट वुड बी इनफ टू पोर्ट्रे पोस्ट कोविड वर्ल्ड एट अ ग्लैंस आई एम गोइंग टू पुट माई ओपिनियंस ऑन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ पेंडेमिक ऑन एजुकेशन द फैक्ट दैट द स्टार्ट ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन हैज कॉज स्कूल्स यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड अदर एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस ऑल अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड टू शट डाउन and caused over 1.2 billion youngsters to stay out of the schools worldwide imagine that as a result education has undergone significant transformation with the rise of e learning online learning increases the information retention and takes less time to comprehend to understand according to a research more than 1.2 billion children in 186 countries are being affected by school cancellation as a result of this pandemic while the infection rate of coronavirus disease vary in different countries and we are the most affected one with the abrupt shift away from the classroom in many parts of the world some are wondering if online learning adoption would continue post pandemic and how such a shift might affect the global education industry even before covid-19 educational technology was seeing a rapid expansion and adoption with the worldwide edtech investment reaching 18.66 us billion dollar in 2019 and now the whole industry is expected for online education to reach 350 billion dollar by 2025 which is huge since covid-19 there been a considerable increase in utilization of language apps virtual tutoring video conferencing tools and online learning softwares meanwhile online learning has been in heavy usage since pandemic started other related businesses are also expanding their capacities in order to create a one stop shop for teachers as well as students but yes everyone has not grown straight we can witness uh, the irony that the skype was there for so long i myself was using skype for more than a decade but see it wasn't that much in use when everyone shifted their mode from offline to online in fact google meet was also there but zoom took it over worldwide despite having some initial issues later they worked upon it and made it better if we talk about the future of e learning some believe that the hasty and unplanned shift to online learning with no training insufficient bandwidth and a little preparation will result a poor user experience that will hinder a long term growth while there is some uh, category of the people who believe that a new hybrid model of education will emerge with significant benefits but i would rather focus on a point that learning has also altered the way students are taught online platforms allow me to communicate with my students more efficiently more effectively especially during this pandemic through chat groups video sessions polls and document sharing in fact student also find it easier to communicate there is an evidence that learning online can be more effective in a number of ways for a people who have access to correct technology according to several studies which is now being conducted over a period of time student who learn online retain 25 to 60% more content than who than those who learn in a classroom and they retain only 8 to 10% this is primarily due to the students ability to learn more quickly online e learning takes 40 to 60% less time to learn than a traditional classroom learning since students may learn at their own pace going back and rereading skipping accelerating through the subjects as needed the efficiency of the online learning however differs by the age group i can say this pandemic has affected the children of different age groups in different ways school children were affected with the lack of social and cultural learning children especially the younger ones require a regulated environment because they are more easily distracted 
a concerted effort is needed to provide this structure and go beyond replicating a physical class through video capabilities. Instead, using a range of collaboration tools and engagement method that promote inclusion, personalization and intelligence. Because children learn primarily through their senses, it is critical to make learning more interesting and effective through the use of technology. Over the time, it has been seen that the intelligent incorporation of the games has resulted in higher engagement and motivation for learning, particularly among the younger people, causing them to actually fall in love with the learning. Yeah, truly, they love it. While students enrolled in higher studies gain more from online resources as they are able to manage self-study time. They can speed forward the lecture, they can see the lecture as per their convenience, so they can manage more time for their self-study. And amidst all the benefits and convenience offered by the e-learning, there are some obstacles to overcome. Some students who do not have dependable internet access or technology find it difficult to engage in digital learning. This divide exists across the countries and between the income level within countries. In some nations, there is a large divide between those from affluent and poor homes. Although nearly all privileged 15 year old indicated they had access to computer and nearly 25% of those from underprivileged families did not. This pandemic has clearly wreaked havoc on an education system that many believe was already losing relevance. Yuval Noah Harari, an Israeli public intellectual, historian and a professor in a department of history, department of history at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in his book, 21 lessons for 21st century explains how schools continue to emphasize traditional academic abilities and rote learning over qualities like critical thinking and adapt adaptability, which will be more necessary for future success. Could the shift to online learning be the trigger for a new and more effective approach to student education? While some are concerned that the hurried nature of the online move has hampered this goal, Others intend to make e-learning a part of their new normal after experiencing the benefit firsthand. COVID-19 emphasizes the significance of the knowledge dissemination. Major world crises are frequently a tipping moment for rapid innovation, as evidenced by the rise of e-commerce. E-learning has become one of the few areas where funding hasn't dried up. The necessities of distributing knowledge across the borders, companies and all aspects of the society have been highlighted by this pandemic. If online learning technology has a role to play here, it is incumbent on all of us to fully exploit it. This coronavirus pandemic has affected millions of people around the world and new educational solutions may provide much needed innovation. If we talk about our country, Digital India, a flagship program of the Government of India was launched on 1st July 2015 with a vision to transform India into a digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. And everyone knows how hard our government was trying to make it successful. But as they say, you can't escape necessity. Pandemic has taught almost everyone to operate these devices. Even elderly persons have become tech savvy now. Coronavirus has affected the way children are educated around the world in just few weeks. So you can practically feel this around yourself also. Those development gives us a taste of how education might alter in long term. So if education can be altered in such a short span of time, in long run, there will be a drastic change in it. With the coronavirus swiftly spreading across Asia, Europe, Middle East, United States, countries have acted quickly and decisively to prevent a full-blown pandemic. 
millions of kids have been forced into temporary home schooling situations as a result of these risk control policies particularly in some of the most severely affected countries such as china south korea italy and iran although these changes have created some discomfort they've also generated fresh examples of education creativity although it is too soon to tell how covid-19 will affect education system around the world there are hints that it may have a long term impact on the evolution of learning innovation and digitalization we look at three trends that could indicate future change education that is nudged and pushed to adapt can result in unexpected inventions with century old lecture based approaches to teaching entrenched institution biases and obsolete classrooms the glacial pace of the change in the academic institution around the world is appreciable covid-19 has become a catalyst for educational institutions all around the world to seek for creative solutions in a short amount of time again i must say practically you must have felt it around yourself only more straight forward but no less inventive solutions were implemented all across the world our government has also taken some fruitful steps to ensure education for children of all the age group despite pandemic i've seen teachers in rural areas going schools now and then meeting parents if not child and guiding them to continue their learning officials were appointed to follow them up and ensure maximum participation of these underprivileged lot teachers in school encourage children to indulge in sport activities and they kept sharing videos of athletic training and games dance music lessons and also organize and parents were happy because these activities have kept their children engaged in future we will see learners and solution providers completely embrace the learning anywhere anytime and the concept of digital education traditional classroom learning will be supplemented by a new learning modalities such as live broadcast educational influence and virtual reality experience learning might become ingrained in the people's daily lives a true lifestyle the role of public private educational cooperation may increase in the future because of all the happenings taking place now learning consortiums and coalitions may emerged recently with a wide range of stakeholders including government publishers educators technology suppliers and telecom network operators bending together to use digital platforms as a temporary solution to the present situation this could become a common and consequential trend in the future schooling in emerging countries where education is mostly sponsored by the government educational innovation is clearly garnering attention beyond the conventional government funded or non profit backed social enterprise as evidenced by example like these we've already seen significantly more interest and investment in education solutions and innovations from the commercial sector in the last decade corporations are waking up to the strategic requirement of an educated citizen from microsoft and google in the united states to samsung in korea to ping an and alibaba in china while most projects have been small scale and localized so far the pandemic could pave the way for much larger scale cross industry alliance to organize around a single educational goal most schools in the affected locations are finding work arounds to keep teaching going but the quality of the learning is strongly reliant on the amount and the quality of the digital access available after all only about 60% of the world's population have access to the internet many students in developing countries rely on the lessons and assignments delivered via whatsapp or email furthermore the less affluent and digital savvy a family is 
the further behind their children are. These children lose out when the classes move online due to the high expense of the digital gadgets and internet subscriptions. So according to me, unless access, cost and the quality improve in all the nations, the quality of the education gap and consequently the socio-economic inequality will widen even further. If educational access is dictated by the access of the latest technology, the digital gap may become even more extreme. COVID-19's quick growth has highlighted the significance of establishing reliance in the face of variety of insecurities. This pandemic is also an opportunity to remind ourselves of the qualities that the student will need in the unprecedented environment like this, such as making informed decisions, problem solving creativity, and perhaps most importantly, resilience. Thank you everyone.